Amy Kennedy, thanks for joining us. When you beat Bridget Harrison, <clears throat> you essentially beat the Democratic establishment of South Jersey. Now you're up against Jeff Van Drew, and you called that establishment a machine, and it is a machine. Are you going to have the machines backing when you're going up against this newly minted Republican? Well, you know, I think right now it's definitely a time for all Democrats to come together and all Americans to come together. This is absolutely the most important election of my lifetime. And, you know, I what that will look like exactly, I'm not sure. I've gotten a lot of support in the past uh, few weeks since the primary, and I'm excited to have the endorsements of AFL-CIO and these building trades, as well as, of course, NJA and CWA, who were with me in the primary. But we're looking more at focusing on the continued grassroots support that we saw in that primary and on how we can now galvanize even more people behind this effort to change South Jersey. The leader of that South Jersey establishment is George Norcross. It was said that he was over congratulating you before the results were even in that night, a sign of unity, perhaps. Is that true? You know, I think um, there, he's probably just as committed to defeating Van Drew in November as I am. I, I think a lot of people in South Jersey are feeling that way right now, and uh, I hope so. And so it's, it was really a, a great day, that primary uh, Tuesday, but we know that we have a lot of work to do between now and, and November. Was he there at your headquarters at 8.30 that evening, as we've heard? No, no, no. no. Oh, that's that's a, myth, a myth. Yeah, no, but Governor Murphy was there and we were excited to have him with his energy. And of course the first lady uh, coming really got the crowd excited, um, but it was a very small, small crowd because we're, we're in these unique times. So having um, any kind of gathering that night was very limited. The second congressional, congressional district is a Trump leaning district. Uh, Trump won it 51-46 over Hillary Clinton three years ago, four years ago. Um, are you the underdog? You know, right now, I think um, that's that's where I am, and I'm excited and hopeful that our turnout will be really strong in this election. I think that there are more registered Democrats in, in CD2, and that that will help if we get the vote out, and that's going to be an important part of of what I'm working on over the next several weeks. And so reaching out to the community and also showing that I'll be the best candidate for this seat will be important. What should Congress do about a new stimulus bill? Oh, you know, Michael, it's um, clear to me that so many families are still struggling, including our small businesses, uh, that with the restrictions that we still have in place to protect our safety, that all of these businesses are not up and running, and yet with some people going back to work and childcare being um, so difficult, the continued stimulus needs to happen, I think. And we're really struggling here uh, every day with how we can make that work and how businesses can stay afloat. This is not the time to pull back. I think we need to continue to make those resources available for families until it's safe to, to resume um, at full capacity. I am discouraged by what I'm seeing and kind of the gridlock that we continue to see while you know rent is due and, and people are doing without. All right, Amy Kennedy, thanks for being with us.